Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your unexpected reading for March 2020. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. This also may or may not resonate with yours or your person's moon rising or Venus sign. And this is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. Okay. All right, Sagittarius, what's your unexpected? I'm not coming in for, there you are. I got you. Coming in for Sagittarius. Hmm. Romance, is it? Are you being chased? Ten of Swords. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. The Sun. That could be Leo. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Well, the Hermit. Are you being chased? What is, like, are you deciding that you don't want and this person does now? Is, or is the shoe on the other foot? What is going on? Queen of Wands. That could be Aries. All right, so what do we got here? Okay. So we got uh, Leo, Virgo, Aries. Huh. I don't think you want this anymore. I think they do, but I don't think you do. I think it's going to be you having to end something. I mean, we got tens here. Look at that. And two nines. Oof. Gracious. So we've got a new direction. Or like there's there's been some kind of final say or final decision reached. And we've got like a new trajectory or new tra reject rejection direction. I think they're wanting something, and I don't think you do. What, okay, all right. What's this sun card about for Sagittarius? What's this sun card? Queen of Wands twice. That could be Aries. Okay, okay. So we've got... Mm hmm. So the receipt here, <laughs> the, uh, the... the Understanding things fully is you seeing the dynamic of your relationship with this person. It's this Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. It's this Nine of Cups. Okay. Forget chasing after you. Did they crash into you? What's, what's this Ten of Cups about? This is this is interesting. Knight of Wands. That could be um, Leo. Gemini, Taurus, or Libra here. This could be Leo. Fire signs, fire signs. What's this Hermit about? <coughs> wow. Okay. Five of Pentacles reversed. Okay, you you know making a decision for you. Whatever you've been through, you've been through it. Your person's going to want this uh, resurrection or to discuss things. It might not be a reconciliation outright, but they want to leave the door open. You need to have more time before you make a decision either way. It looks like also, too, that you are choosing or have already one foot out the door. So it, that's not a stretch for you to kind of um, give things pause and see where it's going to land. But you need to get more of the full picture about this situation. Um, and to do that, you need to go inward. You need to give this time. You need to think about what you want with this. No rushing into it because I think you're done with the heavy stuff. I think you're done with this being dramatic and traumatic. This is about you wanting to lighten the load and if that means leaving this relationship behind, um, I think I think levity and, and you feeling like you can move again, there's been a heaviness here. And, and for the Sagittarius that I'm reading for, this is about you wanting to cast that heaviness off. And if it means the relationship altogether, then you're willing to do that because it, it, it's not supposed to feel like this or be like this. And I think the focus has shifted 
from you blaming yourself or wondering what more you could do or what you haven't done to understanding your partner, to looking at your partner and going, oh, okay, so this is how it works. And not that it's good or bad, it just is. And it's kind of like puts a lot of it into perspective and it lets you figure out what you want to do. The thing is, is that this isn't going to be the only relationship on the table for you this month. Uh, you got something else coming in if it hasn't already started. So you're going to be dealing with two people in the romantic sense this month. Um, and this looks to be a romantic reading. So before you make any decisions, though, on either of them, this is about you keeping a lot of you to yourself so that you can continue the deep dive. Because there's been a deep dive that's already started here. Um, and it's going to lead to a lot of understanding, figuring things out, just perspective shifting. And I think when you are no longer feeling like you didn't do enough or that, well, coulda, woulda, shoulda, that that lightens a load considerably and you are more apt to be like, well, what do I want now? The focus shifts to what you want, not what you should you do or what you feel obligated to do. And it's, it honestly, for the Sagas that I'm reading for, it looks like you're going to kind of shelve any kind of romantic pursuits, whether it's reconciliation, whether it's this new one, too heavily. Like you, the, your goal is going to be to keep things light and to keep things fun and happy. You're not wanting to, and that might be um, quite the change for you, quite the unexpected here, because... You're not wanting to um, do, you're done with the heaviness. You're done with the, the obligation and the, and the way things kind of bore down on you. And, and your focus now is wanting to keep things light and happy. You have more than one, you might even have more than two people. This I mean, this is kind of a busy month. So um, what I like though is that this is not, this is your choice to do this. It is not that you being cast out and feeling sad and disconnected and at a loss here. For whatever, I don't know what happens, but you find out you use the, the focus, the blame, something shifts. The responsibility, I guess, is shared here. Let's say that. And you no longer feel like it's something you did or what more you could have done because you're going to find out about something that is going to be make you go, oh, well, that wasn't my fault or that wasn't me or oh, well, I had no idea. No wonder such and such and such. So you're going to be things are going to be revealed or you're going to be understanding a few things coming to light, so to speak. And th that's going to change your perspective. And in turn, you're going to be able to set that guilt or that shame or just that burden down and be like, okay, what do I want to do? And you've already got this person still showing interest in you and you've got something new coming in if it hasn't already started. Um, but this is not a time for you to delve too deeply into either. This is about being uh, carefully considering your options here. And maybe you don't know the whole picture. I may perhaps this past situation has made you a little wary and wanting to not go headlong into something right away. Just because the passion and the chemistry in, is there and it is, um, you're still giving this pause because you just don't want anything heavy. Not like the last one. That was, you two have been through it. So whatever this new thing that you that just landed or is coming in, you're giving it a minute because um, it just you you deserve a break. <laughs> you deserve some fun, and it's coming. So for some of you, honestly, this might be you just actively dating, but there is there's more than one romantic interest or involvement this month. So, I mean, it might not, you know, it might only be a one-time date or something or, you know, but um, there's that you, I think you're going to be pretty busy. The The difference though is that you're not investing emotionally. You're kind of, you just want things light and heavy. And light and heavy, excuse me. You want to drop the heavy. You want things light and just with levity. What else for Sagittarius here? <laughs> Yeah, nothing heavy. Casting off the burden, uh, taking a, the hermit and the four of swords, disconnecting out of choice, but not be, out of hopelessness or feeling like you need to isolate or that despair. This is like, I need a break. I'm pulling back. I'm going to be very discerning and choosy about where my energy and attention goes. 
And it is very important to for me to be happy and to feel like I there's joy in the situations or wherever I'm good giving my attention because I'm I'm over this. I'm over things being heavy. I'm over um and it's gonna help too that you're kind of finding things out as you go about a situation, your perspective is going to shift, the responsibility or blame may shift, lightening the load. And that's going to be encouraging too, because you're, you're going to be like, oh, hey, I don't need to feel like this anymore. It was never, that wasn't my fault or, oh, so that's why. Oh, okay. So it wasn't me. And it does a lot to change your perspective or mood or your just feelings of adequacy or feeling like, hey, I can do this or, hey, I am enough. I am okay. You don't feel like, oh my gosh, I'm. what's wrong with me? Why did I let that happen? Or why did I do that? Why did they treat me? None of that. Why didn't it work out? None of that. Else for Sagittarius, which is great because this is, it just, oh, we got the Ace of Pentacles here too. I like it. This It's all about you figuring out what you want. Um, and not not that you need to figure out what you want and then go for it. You, you're doing it along the way. But it's from a very secure vantage point. Um, it feels like your person might be wanting to go through the motions and still work things out or still do the back and the forth. You're not going to anymore. And as with a lot of times where there's that cognitive dissonance, when you pull away, they're going to pursue. But if you were to stop and meet them, they, that, that disconnect or that, well, I don't know, all of a sudden they might start retreating. So unfortunately for this ladder dynamic, what happens is when you start to pull away is when they start to pursue. But if you were to stop and meet them, they would start to pull away. So that it's just, it's not worth your energy or time right now. Um, perhaps that dynamic may change in the future, but you two have been through it and you need a break. You need to be out having fun. And there's no, there no, doesn't need to be an active pursuit here of figuring out why. It'll come to you. You'll understand. As you find out more and more about what wasn't there or why things happened, what you'll, it'll put things into perspective for you. And it lightens your mood considerably. It lightens your outlook. That's for Sagittarius. A heavy load is lifting. Okay, so we've got four tens here. One, two, three, four. Oof. Four tens, a change, a change, a new direction being done with something. If it's not the relationship, which let's be honest, it is, it is done with that whole cycle. It is done with that way of thinking. It is done. It is shedding a useless burden, a useless or outdated way of thinking. It is change on a big grand scale. So this is you coming to understanding about something and changes being set in motion and solidified later. It's like the door becoming part of the wall. You no longer can pass through. You no longer can negotiate that. It's what's done is done. Boom. It, it's, that's it. You can't not know what you know. You know it now. Experientially, it's like, okay, I, I, I'm not going to go back to that because I've learned. All right. I get it now. There's been a transformational shift. That's what that is. That's for Sagittarius. That's for Sagittarius. Yeah, this is about you taking your time, thinking, keeping things light, figuring out what you want as you go. But And you're not detaching. You're detaching purposefully and because you want to take some time for yourself. You're wanting just to do, you know, slow and steady wins the race. You're just wanting to... Lighten the load to have some time to get some perspective. This is not feeling forlorn and lost. And there it is, new beginnings. Can't not, after that major overhaul and change, can't not have new beginnings. Begin your new life. Get it. Get it. As you should. This is excellent. Excellent. Your focus has shifted. You're ready. Look at that sun card. Excellent. Oh my gosh. <laughs> because you have been through it. I, I remember so many reads where it was like, oh my God, this, like you couldn't get a break and there was just such, it was drama. And then look at that, you're just walking away from it here and you're like, nope, I don't, I don't care if that's what a relationship is and I don't want a relationship. My happiness and needing to feel unburdened and unweighted down and needing to feel like I'm enough 
outweighs my need for a relationship that is only meeting half my needs half the time. This is ridiculous. I'm better than this. I'm worth more than that. I've got more to give. I didn't. No. This person was not getting the best of you either. You were run down. You don't want to be not giving the best. It's it. No. No. Sure. Sagittarius. And when I say that you know, they weren't getting the best of you either, it's because you couldn't help but start to withdraw. And even if you were still keeping up the same um, attention or, you know, contribution resources, whatever, it was it wasn't coming from a place that was sustainable energetically. Your heart wasn't in it. So this is not the best that you could give somebody. They don't deserve that. You don't deserve that. No. This all good things here. New beginning for you. All good things. Yes, Lord, Sagittarius. This is very exciting is what it is. Oh, we got the Hermit. Herm, whoopsie. Hermit. Why is that hard to say? Hermit? No. Hermit reverse. The magician. This could be Virgo or um, Gemini or Aries right here or Virgo right here. So, again, not withdrawing because you're sad or despondent. Um, this is purposeful withdrawal. This is not recoiling and reclusing. This is deciding to go off the beaten path for some soul searching. This is elective soul searching, which you're almost done with. The worst is over. You're just about done with it. That's probably why it's made room for this new beginning or this new one that just landed or is coming in. And it, the, there's going to be chemistry. There's going to be chemistry. Just saying. Um, just, just wait till you invest though in this wholeheartedly you've just been through something and you don't need to go whole hog into something else enjoy it have some fun um yeah so this gets to be about you figuring out what you want to do realizing understanding as you go you get your whole world in front of you just opened up your whole trajectory in front of you just opened up what do you want to do today you get to figure it out you get to make it happen Okay, well, yay you, <laughs> yay Sag. Okay, I hope to see you in the next reading. I'm very glad for this. You you deserve this muchly. <laughs> it's been a rough couple of months. Okay, I hope to see you in the next reading. Thank you for stopping by and much love and support to you this March. Take care.